Have you been asked in perhaps a finance class to calculate something such as this where you're trying to figure out the dividend payout ratio where you're given a certain set of factors and you're not quite sure how to do it? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm Professor Capco and I'm going to show you in this series of videos how to accomplish this particular problem. And uh, we're going to go through it step by step. There are a lot of steps and there's several formulas. And I'm going to lay out each and every one of the formulas for you and show each of the steps to solve this problem. And you'll be able to master this by the end of this. But first I want to say something awesome is about to happen for you. So be on the lookout for it. And now back to the video. In this problem, you're told that a firm wants to grow 5% without requiring any additional equity financing. The firm maintains a constant debt to equity ratio of 0.55 and a total asset turnover ratio of 1.30 and a net profit margin of 9%. You're asked to find the dividend payout ratio B. Well, we're going to have to go through several steps to solve this. And uh, to determine this, we're going to have to look into something sustainable growth rate. Otherwise known as the SGR. And we're going to use that to calculate this dividend payout ratio. We're also going to be doing something that's called DuPont analysis. You may have heard of DuPont analysis. In fact, I've done a video, a prior video on DuPont analysis, and I've linked it up here for your benefit. If you want, I can create a video going into DuPont analysis deeper if you would like. But for right now, we're going to go through how to do DuPont analysis to arrive at the dividend payout ratio through this problem. This is going to be broken up into multiple videos. So this is going to be part one, this video, because just it it's going to be a lengthy process. And this way you can just jump to the video of the portion that you're having difficulty with. So that's the purpose behind that. And uh, we're going to dig into this a little bit more. So we're going to first talk about this concept of the sustainable growth rate. The sustainable growth rate is the maximum rate of growth a company can achieve without having to raise additional equity while keeping a stable debt to equity ratio. So that's what it is in concept. And for our purposes, we're going to have a sustainable growth rate. I'm going to write this down, the SGR. I'm going to give you one of your first formulas. SGR for our purposes for this is going to be equal to the ROE, that's the return on equity, times the retention ratio. So we've got ROE, that is the return on equity. So we're going to multiply our return on equity by the retention ratio, and that's going to give us, that's going to return our sustainable growth rate. So that's going to be a key formula for us. In fact, let's go ahead and set that out as a key formula because we're going to use this here in a bit. But first, we've got to find these other components. To find the SGR, we're going to need the ROE formula and the retention ratio formula. So we're going to talk about how to arrive at that. So the first formula, as I said, is a sustainable growth rate. The next one that we need to know, this one here, the retention ratio. So this is, we'll call this the first formula. The second formula is going to be the retention ratio. And 
to get that, to get the retention ratio, I'm just going to write it out, retention ratio is going to be equal to 1 minus the dividend payout ratio. And note, that's what we're looking for here. We're trying to solve the dividend payout ratio. So that's why this is important to know that retention ratio to arrive at what the dividend payout ratio is. So you've got the retention ratio and we got the sustainable growth rate. These are two important formulas that you're going to be utilizing in this calculation. Let's give you one more. There's still more to know, but let's go ahead and write down the next one because we're going to be working with all of these, and I hope you're jot jotting them down. The next one is the return on equity. Return on equity, otherwise known as the ROE. And we're going to be doing this return on equity. We're going to be doing it with the DuPont analysis. So return on equity will be calculated using DuPont analysis. And we're going to dive into that a little bit further down the road. But let's go ahead and write down the formula because, again, we're going to need these. So let's have them all here where we have them. Return on equity with the DuPont analysis is going to be the net profit margin times total asset turnover. times equity the equity multiplier the equity multiplier so we've got three important formulas here the sustainable growth rate and that's broken down into the return on equity times the retention ratio the retention ratio we are told is the retention ratio is equal to 1 minus the dividend payout ratio. And remember, this is what we're trying to solve for. So we're going to be working using algebra to solve the dividend payout ratio because that's what the problem's asking for. So when we get to that point, we're going to solve for that. And you'll see just how, in case you're a little rusty on that. We also need to know the return on equity, right, because we have that is part of the SGR and the return on equity. There's more than one way to calculate this, but the one we're doing is the DuPont analysis and the DuPont analysis sort of spreads it out. It spreads it out for you. And so our return on equity is equal to the net profit margin times total asset turnover times the equity multiplier. All right, so that's quite a lot of formulas to know and we're going to dive into this some more but I think that's enough for the first video you've got some of the basic formulas that you're going to be using and then we're going to dive into it and actually start applying numbers to these formulas so we can arrive at the ultimate number here that we're looking for the dividend payout ratio now because that is a lot of work and this is something that is uh, quite extensive and quite valuable. Uh, we're going to have this, the remainder of these videos will be for members only. So become a member of this channel um, by clicking the join button. If you look next to the subscription button, which I hope you hit that as well, the join button will give you several options to join. These videos where we solve for the dividend payout ratio are going to be reserved exclusively for our gold members of this channel. The gold members of the channel will have exclusive access to this dividend payout ratio calculation. So make sure you join and then you'll have 
as long as you're a subscriber and as long as you're a member of this channel, you'll have access to those calculations. They're going to be very valuable. There's a bunch of other valuable things to get from being a member of this channel, including early access to videos. There's going to be, uh, I'm, I give priority to questions asked by my members. If you need a particular video created for a problem, those priorities are given to my members. So consider joining. There's also live chats and other inside information that you're going to want to know. You don't want to miss out. So join this channel, become a gold member to see the rest of this calculation on exactly how to do this. So please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. And now go make it an awesome day. Thank you.